discuss this further, I'm being joined by Major Muhammad Ali Shop. He's a defense analyst. Also joining us is Colonel Shrivdam Singh. He's a defense expert as well. I'm going to start first of all uh, with you, Major Shah. How do you respond to this uh, latest threat coming from the side of China? We've seen these threats in the past as well in the backdrop of Nancy Pelosi's visit. Post Pelosi's visit, there have been uh, some live fire drills, military drills by China, but it hasn't really gone beyond that. As far as this threat is concerned, should we take this as well with a pinch of salt? Oh, well, Minakshi, anything that China says or does, it should be taken seriously, firstly, it should be taken that, okay, what if, what if that comes to the extreme extent of they actually doing it? But yes, you're right, so far they haven't really done anything harmful. For example, they fired those five missiles in Japan, but it was not fired inside Japan's mainland. It was in the, uh, on, on, on a place where there would be no damage at all to anyone. So China has been talking, but again, having said that, barking dogs seldom bite, seldom which means not impossible, which means the barking dog can bite, but seldom bite. A cloud that gives maximum thunder hardly gives any rain. So similarly, China, yes, they, they cannot do anything much. I'll be very, very honest. But at the same time, when we take it by the pinch of salt, what if they take us by surprise? So yes, it should be us means not an Indian, us means the world. So people should be prepared for what China could do the extent they could be doing but at the end of the day i don't see much at the same time coming out of it minakshi well absolutely it's happening far as russia and ukraine are concerned it's not really easy to invade into a country if they do attack taiwan there is that wall of us which they'll have to breach as well which isn't easy at all major shah would you like to take this question sir yes yes minakshi Actually, again, having spoken about China, yeah, having spoken about China, China will talk big, they will flex their muscles, but again, when we take them for uh, granted, that also would not be uh, prudent on anyone's part, but yes, having said that, China believes in psychological warfare, information warfare, projecting themselves larger than life, they issued strong warnings when Nancy Pelosi was coming. What happened then? Nothing. They could not do anything. Yeah. In US, Nancy Pelosi showed them two fingers and she went for a visit. She said, okay, let's see what you can do. So yes, I mean, they have proved it. And they've even proved they've broken the bubble, you know, which people anticipated or they, uh, they understood about China. They expected from China that China is so powerful, they're so mighty. But then they have this plan of 2050, they will become this superpower, number one superpower in the world, but not, they're not, they're far from there right now, Minakshi. Well, absolutely.